Hi YouTube, I'm here again to show you a cool video about the Egyptian and Incan connection basically between the Americas and the Incans. I mean the Egyptians and the Americans kind of basically this is kind of going to be a series where I discuss the similarities and stuff. So let me just get started real quick on some of that. This right here real quick is a website that I'm pulling up on my computer. It's called Humans Are Free. The amazing connections between the Inca and Egyptian cultures. I will have that link down on the bottom below. But right there you can see the masonry looks pretty similar in both things. So does the bronze and gold casted heads which by the way too to even do this requires a really good expert mold making skills now of course pyramids we know there's pyramids I'll also be talking later on about underwater pyramids that are in the Caribbean and even in Japan as far as Japan they're there too so that's really interesting too mummies of course um, salt is a preservative that's still used by Native Americans up in the northwestern part of the country in America. And yeah, there's just so many, just the art, the amount of detail that was put into this. What I think is really cool is the stones. Eventually I'd like to do a video on how to cut stones using a sandblaster not sure if they did that that way or what but that's cool the skulls we'll be talking about that primarily today so yeah we're just kinda taking a look at all the small things and 